The Bauer College Alumni Association holds their signature monthly networking breakfast featuring distinguished and outstanding business leaders as speakers, drawing large numbers of alumni, corporate partners, and supporters to the audience. Bruce H. Vincent, Swift Energy Company president, spoke to alumni and supporters at the May 2012 networking breakfast discussing the energy industry and how it relates to policy. What I really want you to think about as I talk about energy policy today are the differentiation between policy, real policy, and politics. The difference between reality and rhetoric. Much of what you're going to hear between now and November is going to be politics. It's not going to be real policy. It's going to be rhetoric. It's not going to be reality. And it's up to you to educate yourself so you understand the difference between the two and can distinguish that. Energy is not a partisan issue, but politicians often make it a partisan issue. And I'm in the energy business. And I think energy is one of the lifebloods of the American way of life. It drives this economy. One of the big misconceptions that I find uh, is people understanding of where energy comes from, particularly oil and natural gas. The common perception is Exxon, Shell, Chevron, BP. Because we often know an industry by the way we touch and feel it. And we touch and feel energy by filling up our gas tank once a week and it's usually done at a station with an Exxon or a Shell over it. That's not who drives oil and natural gas production in this country. There are roughly 18,000 independents across the United States operating in over 30 different states. The average company has about 12 employees. So it's small business. It's the epitome of small business across this country. And independents actually drill almost 95% of the wells in this country. It's not the majors, it's independents. And independents produce about 85% of the natural gas in this country and 54% of the oil. So when we talk about energy policy, we see politicians try to demonize big oil and punish big oil. That's not who you're hurting. It's not the major oil companies that drive oil and natural gas in this country, it's small business in 30 plus states. Oil and natural gas, for instance, supply about 65% of the energy in this country. And if you look at most reputable forecasts, including the one the uh, Department of Energy puts out, for the next several decades, it's gonna be over 60%. So you need to focus on where you're getting most of your supplies from. While we think solar and wind and renewables are important, they're one to 2% of what you're doing. And the likelihood of them being a significant portion in the next several decades is slim to none. If politics help us get to the right policy, which they might because it's an election year, that's a good thing. But we really need rhetoric and reality to align themselves uh, so we're talking about real policy and not just politics. Policy can have significant repercussions in an industry and with the wrong policies, it can take 10 to 20 years to fix them. With the right policies though, this country can have incredible economic growth, job activity, and well-being that provides a much better place for all of us to live and work. For years, we've heard a lot about energy independence. And to be frank, I always scoffed at people, politicians primarily, who would talk about energy independence because I never thought it was possible or practical. Well, I actually believe it could happen. Our company, for instance, 95% of our capital this year is going to be spent on liquid rich opportunities. And so you're going to see over the next couple of years the same thing happen to the liquid resource base of this country that we've done in the last five years with natural gas. It's going to be a revolution. And the things that it can do for our country in, in terms of job growth, in terms of economic well-being, energy security, and national security. Do we want to continue to be dependent on Hugo Chavez or President Ahmadinejad? Or do we want to be dependent on the 18,000 independents in this country that drill so many wells?
You know, a lot of times when I talk, you can, people can get fired up and say, that's great, but what can I do? I want to help. Well, this is another thing I'd hope to implant with you for the rest of your careers, and that's to get involved. Get involved in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be energy policy. It can be whatever works for you, but get involved because policy drives so much of what we do, and it's what helps create the future. And if we don't have the involvement of the American people, we're not gonna to get to the right policies.